This is the new heart communicator manufactured by Miriam. It's a um, equivalent to some of the other products on the market, like the Emerson 375. I wanted to run through some of the basic features. I'm going to turn it on right here. Let it power up. It's got a nice color display, easily visible for all different angles. It's got a full uh, typewriter style keyboard, which is nice. Number pad. And for some options where you have to confirm or deny an option, it gives you uh, buttons for that as well. Here we go. So first thing, it tries to uh, pull for any devices. And if it finds a device, it's saying initiating. Right now we're connected to a Rosemount 1151 smart transmitter. So it pulls up that device right here. And we could actually, if we wish to, we could go to uh, other, take a look at other devices that might have other uh, heart addresses. In this case, we only have one heart device on there with a pulling address of zero, and it, that's the one. I can press this, and it shows me the parameters, uh, the display parameters of that device. So right now, we happen to be measuring a pressure, a slight vacuum, minus 1.14 PSI, and so we're below scale on that. And if I wanted to go in here and change any of the parameters, like lower range value or upper range value, I can either use the touch screen, my preference is to use buttons because over time touch screens can be damaged by, uh, by lots of pushing. So my preference is to use keyboard buttons. If I want to go to a low range value, let's say of zero, I can hit the little check button there to confirm. Now it's asking me for upper range value. And let's say we want to go to 14. I'll check the button here to confirm. Now you see the little green arrows, that tells me that I need to download. Uh, that those parameters have not yet been sent to the device. So I can press this button on the touch screen. There we go. And you see the arrows disappear, so it's sent the information to the device. You can also navigate through menus, just like you can some of the Emerson products, like 375. All the menus should be familiar to anyone who's used that device before. So a pretty neat little instrument here, a neat little tool. And like I said, an alternative to some of the other products on the market.